the Tom Likas Show. You know the seven, don't you, that you can't say on television? <laughs> and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where we get together to talk about the issues you really care about. Every kind of a radio talk program. We are the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. You guys know I'm a big fan of fast food. Specifically, I'm a McDonald's freak. I just love it, and I always have. Since I was nine years old, first time I walked into a McDonald's. When I walked into McDonald's the first time, McDonald's had a big pyramid of 15-cent hamburgers. Hamburgers were 15 cents, and they had them stacked in a pyramid. And they would throw them out every 10 or 15 minutes to make new ones if they didn't sell every one of them. And um, I remember being nine years old and seeing that at McDonald's going, holy cow, this is great. This is great. And I've always been a fan. And uh, I, I love the snobs who say they hate McDonald's or they hate fast food. Because those are the people who eat in their cars and hide the wrappers in the back seat. I, I am just like I'm not ashamed to say I love TV or love baseball. I love fast food. I love it. Southern California invented fast food, okay? They invented the drive through And uh, Southern California also uh, was the uh, place where many of the most famous fast food restaurants originated. McDonald's, of course, originated uh, in Southern California. So did Carl's Jr., which uh, Hardee's is now essentially Carl's Jr. It's kind of the same thing in the Midwest and the Southeast. Um, Jack in the Box originated here. Yes, Wendy's and White Castle come from the Midwest, etc. But uh, you know what? We did it better. We did it first. And there's just something about being able to roll into a fast food joint on a warm summer night in Southern California. There's nothing like it. You never feel more American than that. And it's just an amazing thing. I love it. And um, they're always coming up with new products at your favorite fast food joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, whether it's uh, uh, something on the value menu or they're coming up with a... Uh, the Carl's Jr. always puts meat on top of meat on top of meat. That's their thing. Meat as a condiment, as Jay Leno said, and they've kind of adopted that. That saying at Carl's Jr.'s corporate headquarters, meat as a condiment. The pastrami on top of a burger, <laughs> double burgers, big burgers, bacon on top of burgers, <laughs> meat on top of meat on top of meat. Hottest fast food item right now, by the way, McGriddles. Did you know that? At McDonald's, McGriddles. Nothing is selling better than McGriddles. And... Uh, McDonald's just uh, went through the roof after introducing McGriddles. But um, I'm fascinated with fast food because uh, I always like to try the new stuff, whatever it is. There's always something with Angus beef. Jack in the Box always has some new item coming out. I enjoy it. So I wonder which item you like because, my God, I, I'm just obsessed with it. I'm just obsessed with the, the variety of stuff. By the way, over the years, Jack in the Box has had items that, that came and went. Uh, there are items that have, have disappeared over the years. I remember Jack in the Box, I swear, maybe you remember this, maybe you don't. Jack in the Box had chicken cordon bleu. Jack in the Box. That was pretty amazing. Jack in the Box still has Chinese egg rolls. Did you, you know, they, they never advertise them. But if you go to Jack in the Box, you can get a little package of, I think it's three Chinese egg rolls. The Chinese, I, hopefully they were not made in China. 
You've seen China's safety record recently. But, uh, yeah, go to Jack in the Box, pick up some Chinese egg rolls or a piece of cheesecake in a little triangle-shaped container. <laughs> I'm amazed at some of the stuff they sell. And let's add in some of the other fast food joints. Uh, they're not as easy to eat in the car, but, uh, you know, like El Pollo Loco. How can you not love that? My God. You're here in Southern California, we've got El Pollo Loco. It's so, if you, if you've never been to Southern California, you had El Pollo Loco. Oh, so good. In and out? Isn't In and Out great? Oh my God, it's good. So I'm not just interested in which fast food place you like. I'm interested in what item you like. What is the fast food item you can't get enough of? The ones you just, you can't scarf down enough. But uh, I, I, I got to tell you something. I love the fast food. And I am wondering if you love the fast food. I am wondering if you yourself uh, have a particular item that you love more than any of them. Uh, if you do, you can call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. would love to know what your favorite fast food is. And if you've got one, you can tell me about it right now. Tom like 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show, and we've been having some uh, issues with the power here in the studio. So I'm going to uh, attempt to appear that everything is normal, which is my job. And I'm going to uh, take as many calls as I can here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Your favorite fast food item. Favorite item at a fast food restaurant. Hello, Robert. Tom, how you doing, Tom? Great. Great to talk to you. One of my favorite topics ever in the world. Uh, favorite, definitely going to be the In-N-Out Double Double, Grilled Onions, Extra Toast Bun, Extra Spread, Animal Style Fries, Large Coke. Oh, see, and you, see so you're one of those guys who likes to order off the menu at In-N-Out and slow up the whole system. <laughs> That's because I know exactly what I want, just like my women. Is that so? Oh, yeah. Uh, are they In-N-Out also? Always. Animal Style Animal stuff. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yes. I've got another, another tip for all the listeners out there. Oh, by the way, Big Mac also top on the list. Big but Mac, when you, classic. When you, oh, awesome. Especially 99 cent Big Macs on Fridays or whenever they do that. Right. Great. But um, they cut the dollar menu. You know, they have a dollar for a small Coke yeah. or whatever you like to drink. Ask for the extra large. Not on the menu. Same price. Really? Yes. I had no idea. Brandon, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Going okay. You know, this This is the reason that uh, this is the greatest country we live in. I got to say, Tom, this is a great topic. And by the way, if you ever go to another country and try to go to fast food places, wait till you see how expensive they are. I was in Europe last summer and this past spring. And and the cost of like a regular hamburger is just ridiculous at a fast food joint. It's nuts. It's sick. Oh, I, I had a Big Mac in Germany one time. It was the saltiest piece of crap I had ever had. Oh boy, do they use do they use cow meat? I hope so. Yeah, I don't know, but because anyway, it's Germany, uh, who knows what the local taste is there? Yeah, I, I got to go with the last caller though. In and out, uh, incredible. And I live in uh, Portland, Oregon, but uh, so when I get to Cal when I get to Southern California, I get the uh, ten by ten. Ten by what do you want, Atkins? The ten by ten at In and Out? Oh, it's incredible. Unbelievable. I, I what do they charge for a ten by ten? Do you even know? Yeah, it's like over ten dollars. Over ten dollars. Uh huh. I, I don't eat for like a day before I go to California. <laughs> you don't have In and Out in Oregon, right? No, there's rumors. There's rumors it might be coming. So, yeah, uh, as well it should. Trina, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Going okay, Trina. 
Hey, you got a Tommy's fan here. Did you mention Tommy's? We haven't talked about Tommy's. We had Tommy's in here one day. They delivered us a whole bunch of chili burgers, chili fries. In fact, they just brought us a quart of chili by itself. It was amazing. Oh, and I hope you had like a ton of Pepto to go with that. Uh, you know what? Uh, all those beans, a lot of fiber. It's good for you. No, it really is. No, but their best is like their cheeseburger with chili and a chili cheese fries with a little bit of onion, some pickles, and just wash it down with a big old fresh fizzy coat. All right, but what's your favorite item of all the fast food joints? Pick an item. <sighs> chili cheese fries by far. I chili cheese fries at Tommy's. Yep. For people who don't live in SoCal, Tommy's is a local chain, been here forever, started down on Rampart. Okay, yeah. And the original location is still there, I believe. It still is. And Tommy's has a million imitators here in town. It is. That is a great spot. Now, I'm so glad you love fast food. I'm actually shocked to hear that you love fast food. No, I, I love it. It doesn't matter how much money I make. <laughs> if I can find an item on the menu for 99 cents or $1.99, oh, my. Uh, you always got to save a buck. I mean, and you know what? You're never too rich to save a buck. I agree. Hey, can you take me out? Don't taser me, bro. Yes. Yes, I can. What did I do? Get off me. No way. Get off me. Get the f*** off me, man. I didn't do anything. Hey, don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. Don't I didn't do anything. Ow. 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 It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Here's Frank on the Tom Likas Show. I just want to find the fast food items you love the most. Hello? It's two fries from two different places, Tom. One, crisp cut fries with ranch dressing and uh, in and out I have to have them animal style, my my friend. And take me out. Wait, 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 style. wait. Before you go, crisp cut fries are Carl's Jr., right? Yeah. Right. Okay, piggy piggy style. Here you go. She's a piggy piggy. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Artie on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Artie. This is a great topic. You can do it for hours. Yeah. I got an original one. It's not that there anymore, but it's an original one. It's from KFC. Chicken Littles. What? What are Chicken Littles? Oh, they're these small little patties that we came. It wasn't really a child. Patties? It was Wait a, a really small chicken patty that came with the... Chicken patties, and, and are they mayo. coated with the KFC coating, like the breading and everything? Yeah. No, no, it wasn't a biscuit. It's like a little piece of like bread. It was small. It was tiny. They were like size of chicken nuggets. They were small. But I would, my mom would get like a basket of these, and I would just devour them like no other. I but had they're... no idea. <laughs> but they've been discontinued. Uh, yeah, because I've never seen them. John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. Second Son? time, long time. Thank you. Uh, I'm a big breakfast guy, and lately I've been getting hooked on the chicken biscuits at Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. Now, I, I have never thought of eating chicken for breakfast, but then I realized uh, that when you go to one of those touchy-feely people's homes where they, 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 they don't like to eat pork, yep. uh, they're eating chicken sausage for breakfast. People are eating chicken for breakfast already anyway. Yeah, it's true. It'd be even better if they served it with a side of watermelon. <laughs> or gravy. Great. Can you blow me up, Tom? Yes. Yes, I can. Shane on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Great. Since high school, it's got to be Jack in the Box tacos. Jack in the Box tacos. Now, there's a classic. They've been selling tacos since the 60s. I've been out of high school for 31 years. I remember waking up in the morning after a night out. You run by... You go to Jack and Box, you get their tacos, you wake up the next morning, you got taco shells still stuck in your teeth. And you loved it, didn't you? You did. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Appreciate the call. David on the top, like his show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Well, one of my favorites, uh, McDonald's is not too much my favorite, but I would have to say I love their McRibs when they do have them. McRib, where they take pressed pork. <laughs> That's about right, but it's, it's like it's like the army's version of roast beef. It's they, they press pork into the shape of ribs, but it actually has no bones in it, and then they put barbecue sauce over it. Yeah, they are, those things are so good. I was going about three, four times a day to go get them, and they've got pickles on them, which exactly. I the last thing in the world I would think to put on a rack of ribs is a pickle. But for the most part, I eat Carl's Jr. because that actually does fill me up right there. Can you uh, tell I've eaten a thousand McRib sandwiches? As weird as they are, of course, uh, you know, if it's at McDonald's, I'm putting it in my mouth. That's it. Can't go wrong with that. They're so good. Um, can you take me out to Screaming Orgasm in Mexican style, please? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Melody on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Melody. In the drive through right now. Really? Yeah, in and out. Awesome, getting animal style fries and a cheeseburger. Now, the in and out is so popular. There's always a line, right? Definitely. There's like at least like 15 cars, probably more. And it's so good, nobody cares. Exactly. Like, oh my god, I would wait seriously for like a whole hour. I don't care. Now, what are animal style fries? They're like, all right, they're like fries, but they put like cheese and like a special sauce on it. Oh, so good. really. Yes. Animal style fries. I'm going in for those tonight. Definitely. Animal have style you, fries. You'll have, like ten. you'll have like 10 of them. Is that so? Yeah. Wow. They're really expensive, though. They're like three bucks. Who or four. cares? Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> Money is no object. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Melody. Here comes Stu on the Tom Likas show. His name is Food. Hello. Oh, Tom. Yeah, hello, Stu. Yeah, man, I love the the double western bacon cheeseburger at Carl's Jr. Yeah, forget the single western bacon cheeseburger. You got to go double on that. Once, man, I even ate the double six dollars burger. The double now they, that six dollar burger at Carl's Jr. They actually have the double six dollar burger. How much is that? Twelve dollars? Uh, actually, it should be called a twelve dollar burger, but no, it actually came out to I'd say around eight dollars in my time. So you got the eight dollar six dollar burger. Yeah. Yes. How was that? It was wonderful, man. Really? Did you wake up the next morning? Uh, yeah, my heart. I, I, I think I had a heart attack when I was asleep. So, <laughs> your col your colon exploded. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of beef. Yeah, so I think I was like half a cow or something like that. Un. Real. Stu, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, we're talking about your favorite item at any fast food joint. Your favorite item. What's your favorite item? Joey, hello. Hello? Yeah. Tommy, what's up, man? Joey, doing great. Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. Um, yeah, I was just calling in about that $6 burger, but here's the top it off. They actually just stopped selling this burger, but it was the best burger I've had in a long time. The Prime Rib $6 burger. Now, I thought they were still selling that. They they stopped the Prime Rib burger? I've had the Prime Rib burger. I went there last night on a Munchie Fix, and they said they weren't making it anymore, and I was I was really bummed. That's a shame. Top it off, I mean, a giant burger, and then you get a pile of meat on top. It's just incredible. It's meat with a pile of meat on it. Yeah, exactly. Cause you know, does it right. Love it. All right, Tom, can you blow me up? Yes, I can. Brady on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great, Brady. Hey, uh, I love McDonald's breakfast. It's uh, it's all about the Egg McMuffin. The Egg McMuffin, what a classic. By the way, the original Egg McMuffin was made by a McDonald's location in Santa Barbara on State Street. Really? I, I didn't know that. Did you know that? It was made at the local McDonald's, and McDonald's adopted it as a product and uh, started selling it nationwide. That's true. Wow. In fact, if you go to the McDonald's at the end of State Street, right near uh, uh, the 154 uh, Pass, the San Marcos Pass, uh, you can they, they have a plaque at the McDonald's that tells you it's the first location where they ever sold the Egg Big Muffin. Well, I'm going to have to do that then. I think if I was on death row, I think the Egg McMuffin would be my last meal. Can I tell you something, Brady? Now I'm going to share something very intimate with you. This is, I'm not kidding. I'm not. I'm not kidding. Good. You know, I was once arrested. I spent the night in jail. Yeah. This was in Boston. Okay. And do you know what they served me in my cell in the holding what? pen? They sold. They served me two egg McMuffins. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what. I was so happy to see those egg McMuffins. And here it is, 15 years later. I remember it to this day. Man. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> two egg McMuffins and one hash brown. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the hash brown is just as good. It ha you have to get the hash brown. You gotta get both. Yeah. Gotta do it. Alright, thanks Tom, blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, Jesse, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, it's Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Good. Taco Bell, Taco Supremes with mild sauce. Hands down, greatest item, any fast food venue, period.
Really? Truly. I don't think I've had it. Now, what makes it a supreme taco? Uh, tomatoes and sour cream. So they don't normally have that on a taco? Generally, no. On a regular taco, a taco belt's just meat, lettuce, and cheese. But you got to get the taco supreme. Now, uh, now, I, 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 Taco Bell, of course, has been super successful for so many years. But in L.A., we've got so many local Mexican food joints. Is Taco Bell even better? If, if what you want is Taco Bell, then yeah, it's better. Okay. You know, Just, I've got my favorite burrito joints, but you know, it's, you gotta have the. Taco my Bell. favorite burrito joints have wheels. Yeah. And 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 carne asada. You're making me hungry, Tom. I'm ready to go, Jesse. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Justin. Dad. Son, how are you? Hey. So my favorite's uh, the Carl's Jr. spicy chicken sandwich. Now, what what do you like so much about it? It's cheap. It's filling. I usually get like three of those every time I go. I uh, get a side of the uh, chili cheese fries. Stick some of those in there. Uh huh. And that's it. Now I have had the uh, spicy chicken sandwich on the way up to my uh, my ranch up in Santa Barbara County. I've, I've picked those up on the uh, freeway on the way up. It is good. It is very spicy too. Yeah, and I like how they uh, put the lettuce in there, just to, like a little leaf of lettuce, just to decorate it. So you feel like you're getting some health food in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you coming from the East Coast, you'll have to agree with me that we need some White Castles over here on the West Coast. Well, uh, you know what? I, I love White Castle. Um, I do love sliders. In fact, they don't even have to be White Castle. When I was in Phoenix, uh, there used to be a place called Windy City Sliders in Phoenix. And uh, those are even better than White Castle. Really? Yeah. Wow. So next time I take a trip to Phoenix, I'm going to have to look if, out for it. Trust me on this. If you ever go to Phoenix... The the what fast food Windy City, Windy City Sliders, you know, like Chicago, the Windy City. You have to go to Windy yeah. City Sliders. Uh, it's still there. Sometimes it's called the Chicago Hamburger Company. It is the best. I've never had sliders like that before. Ooh, sounds good. Yep. Can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly can, Justin. Thank you, Jesus. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Ray on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing, sir? Doing okay, Ray. Now I don't know how many people have heard of this, but it's in South Orange County. It's called A's Burger. There's only like two or three locations. I think there's only two actually, but their fried zucchini is by far the best fast food item anywhere, bar none. Get that with some of their ranch, um, house made ranch. It's delicious, by far. Well, I, you know, I've never thought of fried zucchini or zucchini in any way as fast food. Well, A's Burger is a fast food restaurant, and it is in their burgers, for instance. There's a in it, like you guys are talking about In-N-Out right next. There's an In-N-Out right next door to it. There's a huge line. In A's Burgers, burgers, their bacon cheeseburger is just wife. I mean, I don't know. I think a lot of people are just like cattle, and they just follow the line wherever the line is. They think it's the best place. Not putting down In-N-Out at, at all, but A's Burger beats them by far and i'm surprised it's not a bigger chain but it's a small family-owned little uh fast food restaurant so wow all right ray sounds good to me it's good. if i get to oc that's what i'll do little fried zucchini 1-800-5800-TOM that's our telephone number let's say hello here to jordan on the top like his show hello jordan hey tom hey Got two local favorites: uh, yes. Alberto's uh, beef tacos yeah. and the hat pastrami. And uh, so the, the the hat. Now I've heard about the hat. I've never been there. Where is the hat? I think I don't know if there's one in L.A. It's it's more of a uh, I guess kind of a San Gabriel Valley thing. There's one in Glendora that that I go to. I think there's one in L.A. Now there's one in Las Vegas now. It's they have some of the you get a pastrami there for about eight bucks and this thing has a pound of pastrami on it. It's one of the best sandwiches you'll ever have. Really? It's it's fantastic. It's covered in grease, covered in pickles and mustard, and it's just served right up and it's a heart attack on a bun, but that's why it's so good. Wow. Heart attack on a bun. It's right up my alley. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. What is your favorite fast food item on the menu at half past the hour? Any fast food joint of note? I'm 
talking about the big ones now. What are your favorite items at the big fast food joints? 1-800-5800-866. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Well, hands down, my favorite. I got to say Carl's Jr., the Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Western Bacon Cheeseburger is a good basic burger. I'll tell you what, it's a good, <laughs> it's, and it's been around for a long time, too. Especially with a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. Oh, man. And now, I've, I've never ordered it with extra barbecue sauce. That's a good idea. Nice and messy. Make your, st- your fingers sticky. Uh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Hey, can you uh, take me out with a bong rip, please? Yes, Tony. Yes, I can. No it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Marcella on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Marcella. My favorite has to be the Double Dell from Del Taco. Now, what is I the Double Dell at Del Taco? I know they run commercials for it. They've just gone right over my head. What is a Double Dell? It's a double cheeseburger, and it's amazing, to say the least. Now, Del Taco, i got to tell you, I love fast food, and I love Del Taco, too. But it's not the first place I'd think of for a hamburger. I know. I was. I went on a first date there, and he swore it was the best burger I would ever have, and it totally was. Really? Yes. Is that so? It's so. All right, I've made the double Dell at Del Taco. Well, after I get my animal style fries over at In and Out, I'll head over to Del Taco. Good. Sounds good to. It sounds like you're ready to go in right now. I am right now. Oh, you're at Del Taco right now. I'm on my way. All right, very nice, Marcella. All right, thanks. Thank you, Gino. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. I got to tell you, as a, gr- a kid growing up, my grandfather used to take me to this place on Laurel Canyon. It was called Der Wiener Schnitzel, the chili cheese dog with extra, extra onions. Wow, that's like the original Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> hey, really quick, a story about uh, jail. I was in jail in Chicago. You know what they feed you there? What? Bologna sandwich for breakfast. You don't get like a, 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 a red hot, a Chicago red hot. You don't get a Vienna beef hot dog. No, and don't eat the bologna if it has a hole in the center. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> blow me up, Tom. I blow you up, baby. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I just decided to ask people what's their favorite item on the menu at one of the big fast food places. And I'm talking about the national ones, you know. So we're talking about, you know, a McDonald's, Burger King. Nobody's mentioned Burger King at all, which is interesting. Uh, Wendy's, KFC. Uh, there are some large regional chains like El Pollo Loco. Uh, the big ones. I know you, you might have a favorite local joint, a small place. But uh, we're talking about the big ones. No, I, I mean, if we sit here and talk about every restaurant in America, uh, yeah, there's one on 87th Street on the south side of Chicago. It's not going to do us any good. We can't go there. I mean, he put it this way. I want it to be an item that anybody listening to the show could get in the car, drive over, and get some. No, I, I was in Minnesota. There's this place. They saw, uh, stop it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, first, let me uh, reiterate the whole thing about the hat. Their pastrami is so famous. I've seen people ordering, or I've seen them shipping it out to Germany. Now, I, I, the, 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 the pastrami I've heard about in L.A., and I've never gone, but I have eaten it because people brought it to me, was a joint out in Northridge. I can't remember the name of that deli in Northridge. Yeah, that I wouldn't know. But the reason why I called was because my favorite... When 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 I was a teenager, me and all my friends, my brothers and everybody, we'd pile into the truck, go down to Tommy's, and we'd all order two double chili cheeseburgers. Now, the reason why we ordered two is because the first one was a contest. Whoever finished theirs first didn't have to buy theirs the next week. And the second one, of course, was to enjoy. There you go. <laughs> but that... that that chili at the original Tommy's is unbeatable. That is and, and it's still, You're bad. saying it's still better than the other Tommy's locations. Well, the, not, I mean, you know, any of the chains that, that has the original Tommy's recipe, not the, the knockoffs and all that, because the original t- ch- Tommy's chili was so greasy. Oh, my, that was a heart attack just looking That's at it. That's why it's so good. Yeah. 
Uh, by, by the way, I don't eat at the knockoffs, the ripoffs. I don't. If it isn't the original Tommy's, I don't. I don't go near it. Why is that? Because I like Tommy's. I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, want... I thought you said you do, you do like the. Other no, one. I don't. I don't like the knockoffs, the ripoffs. Uh, if I'm desperate for Tommy's, I'll drive the extra mile or two or ten and go to Tommy's. Oh yeah, I, I ate at one of the knockoffs on accident once, and I almost I almost puked. It was nasty. I hate that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. What is your favorite item from a major fast food place, Thomas? On the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Thomas. My favorite is you go to Wendy's and you get their French fries and you get their packets of chili sauce and you dump it on the French fries. You dump the chili, so just chili sauce, like hot sauce. Just the chili sauce. It comes really? in a little gold packet. Really? Very good. Never thought to do that. Very, very good. You got to try it. Sounds good to me, Thomas. Thank you for that. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likey Show. Hey, it's the Tom Likey Show coming to you from Hollywood. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. Your favorite fast food item from a major national chain. What is it? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, David. Hey, I want to tell you, Tom, the sirloin cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. The sirloin cheeseburger. Uh, tell me about it. Um, you, well, you have to order it with Swiss cheese, and then you can get the grilled onions as well. I mean, I was hooked on that. I was eating it for about, uh, let me see, about three days a week. It was three so days good. a week? Yeah, that's how good it was. You know a hamburger is good when they give it to you in the box. <laughs> that's a mark of quality. Exactly. And then, hey, Tom, can I let you know of a, a good uh, local uh, hole-in-the-wall spot in Orange County? You can, Sure. Okay, it's called uh, Alvaro's. It's uh, in Fullerton, and they sell this uh, this plate called carne asada fries, which is French fries with carne asada, oh. beans, Ooh. guacamole, and cheese. Oh, my. Uh, that's got to be fantastic. Talk about heart attack waiting to happen. Oh, but th that's the way to die. Exactly. I'm and telling then, you right now. And then they have the sauce, a uh, special green sauce you put on it. I mean, it has a finishing touch. Ooh. And I've been hooked on that lately, too. Oh, my goodness. Where is that? Anaheim, you say? No, it's a, it's a Fullerton off it's of in Fullerton. Orange Thorpe and oh. uh, Gilbert. I, I am so... I'm the carne asada fries. Oh, my. It's open 24-7, so I go there uh, drunk quite a bit, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, of course, you've got a designated driver because you drink responsibly. Most definitely. <laughs> hey, Tom, can you take me out African tribe style? I certainly can, David. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Jose on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hola, Tom. Jose. Uh, actually, I, my favorite is uh, Carlos Jr. Double jalapeno with extra jalapenos and mustard. And I like I like pickles, of course, but extra pickles and extra jalapenos with mustard. Now, this is a double burger, or is this the six dollar double burger? What is this? No, no, it's it's uh, it's a double. It's uh, it's not the six dollar. No, it's the um, it's the jalapeno burger. But it's you can pick it double or single. Go double. Double, huh? Go double all the way, and and you better uh, you with a nice big tall cold forty ouncer. Can't go wrong. My God, all I need then is uh, the, my Glock, and I'm ready for the evening. <laughs> I'll tell you, this this thing will fill you up. You could probably get, you know, one or two, but it, it, one I think is good amount, good good size. You know what I'm saying? Sounds good to me. Yeah, and just uh, information. I think you mentioned about uh, the pastrami on and in, in, um, Northridge, right? Yes. I, I, I think that uh, that that place is called uh, Giamella's in Northridge, near the. Uh, uh, that 
university over there at um, Cal State Northridge. Uh, Cal State Northridge. It's yeah. like it's. I mean, it's they got these big pastrami subways. I mean, it's really big. They're great, but uh, maybe that's the one they brought to you one time. Um, uh, I don't know. And then there's that place. Speaking of pastrami here in L.A., there's that place. Have you ever been to Langer's? On Alvarado Street, uh, just south of Wilshire Boulevard. Oh, my. Right near MacArthur Park. All right, Tom. But it's nice <laughs> talking to you. It's uh, I'm first-time caller. Your, your show is great. Jose, thank you. Can you tell I've eaten pastrami around L.A.? I mean, I've eaten it everywhere. Everywhere. Art, have you ever done Langer's? we got to do Langer's. I think they still have car hops at Langer's. And uh, love that. Go in. That's right. you got to get amped up to go to Langer's. You got amped up. You you roll in there. Gotta love it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Nathan. On the his name is a fast food joint. Nathan, you're on the Tom Like a show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Nathan. I've been calling all day. I think I called seventy times. I'd say the greatest fast food is a double uh, decker taco from Taco Bell. Really? Now, now, uh, when you say double decker, how do they make it double decker? It's it's a like a burrito a taco, and around the taco is a burrito. So it's in the shape of a taco, but it's a burrito and a taco together. Is that the one where they kind of glue it on with beans? Yeah, yeah. But the secret trick is you put some nacho cheese in it, and it's fantastic. Really? Fantastic, Tom. Oh. I'm, I figure my honeymoon, I'm gonna give me a double decker taco for me and my wife, <laughs> and that's just a good time right there. Some who needs sex on a honeymoon when you got that? <laughs> you got it. Hey, can you take me out Asian style if you got it? What would that be? I, give me like a, a gong or something. A gong or something. Do you have anything Asian sounding over there, Art? There it is. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ronnie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's happening, Tom? Still a radio show here, Ronnie. Good job. You gotta have a KFC's famous bowl. It's not on the menu. What is in that? Uh, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. It's got popcorn, chicken, and some corn. It's pretty damn good. But wait a minute. I, I knew they had bowls. They had chicken bowls at KFC. Why do you say this was not on the menu? What What is it that's not on the menu? I don't know why it's not. Uh, my mom turned me on to it back uh, in the Midwest. Because I, I think that is on the menu. I think it is. Oh, the famous bowl? Because they've had commercials for chicken bowls at KFC. I've seen them. Yeah, well, maybe it's a little different. I don't know, but uh, it's hey, pretty good. Let me see. Dean has looked it up right there. It is the famous bowl. They've got uh, three different famous bowls. they got the chicken and biscuit famous bowl. they got the rice famous bowl. they got the mashed potato famous bowl. There you go. So, well, uh, yeah, it is on the menu. I don't take time to read then, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> didn't take time to read the menu, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Hey, could you take me out on uh, the screaming orgasm and uh, thank you, Jesus? Yes, I certainly can. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Juan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Doing okay, Juan. Oh, man. Best best burger to have is the Whopper Triple, triple Whopper. The Triple Whopper? Yes. Now, that, that's not a, now, that's not a threesome with Dean. What is that? Once again? That is not a threesome with Dean. What is that? The triple Whopper. Really? You've never had it? It's on the menu. I guess I did. It's like a number two or number three. Okay. It's like a new one. Triple Whopper. Three, three meats, three cheeses, just everything. Really? Biggest, biggest burger I've ever seen. Bigger than that $6 little. Is that so? And it's good? Oh, I love it. I love the Charbroil. You are the burger. first person to call in and say Burger King, which is interesting. I had, I have nothing against Burger King. It's just you're the first person to mention Burger King. I don't know. I love Burger King. My kid loves Burger King. I have no problem with Burger King. Look don't at you. Wrong, the uh, the, the triple uh, Whopper. What's that? The uh, carne asada fries that the other guy just mentioned. Yeah, uh, no, uh, Alberto's. No, Alvaro's. Those are good fries, too. Really? Really? I've oh. had those. Those are good. In Fullerton. I'm not going to forget that. I've, I've got it committed to memory. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. I've had those, and oh, my God, I love them. Love them. Sound good to me. Thanks for the call. I'm going to ask Dean about a triple whopper. <laughs> they go down easy, those triple whoppers. 
One eight hundred five eight hundred Thomas, our telephone number. Here's Anthony, a discriminating diner on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up? Not much. Um, all I have to say is uh, Costco hot dog or Polish dog. You know, Costco has Hebrew National hot dogs for a buck and a half, and you get a twenty ounce Coke. It's refillable. Yep. And uh, they've got those same condiment stands they've got at Dodger Stadium. It's nothing but mustard and onions. When you turn the crank and the mustard and the onions come out, and the relish, and the relish, yes. And uh, I got it. I got it. Mean, there's nothing like a Hebrew, Hebrew National hot dog. They're fantastic. Yeah. So so, uh, so yeah. The thing is, you got to wait in line at Costco unless you get there early. But uh, I've had that hot dog, and of course, I've had Hebrew National hot dogs, and they are amazing. Yeah, got to have one every time you make a trip over there. Uh, I definitely skip breakfast. I'm going to make an early trip to Costco and uh, just just have the hot dog. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you blow me up? Yes. Yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Lane on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, Lane. Good. Well, I just think it's so funny that there's no women calling in. Because guys are all the fast food target audience. It's guys. Women don't even yeah. like. If women eat fast food, they won't admit to it anyway. And I'll I just have a salad. Do they have salad? Sourdough Jack, phenomenal. What is it now? Jack in the Box, Sourdough Jack. Sourdough Jack. And then on the side, I get the potato wedges with cheddar cheese and bacon. I'm really? telling you. Is See? that so? And a large Coke. Phenomenal. You are out of control, Lane. Not, not good for the butt, but good for a late-night dinner, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Our email address, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.